prosthetic leg made from 3D printed titanium. Thank you. Why can't we get more of this? We could be printing these bad boys. Look at how cool that is. Hello everyone, welcome back to the easiest of the peasiest, and saying it is lemon squeeziest. I'm Kugu, I'm today's narrator, and well today we're gonna be reading on through r slash damn, that's interesting. Let's get to it. Cotton Candy Lobster, one in a hundred million catch. Donate to the Huntsman Marine Science Center. He'll be safe and sound at the Huntsman, where he'll live out the rest of his life. Aw, he's such a cute little baby. I just want to give him a hug. He might cut off my finger, but he's so cute. 500 types of tomatoes. That's a lot of spaghetti sauce. Also, it's like a rainbow of deliciousness right there. 99-year-old war hero who survived a bad people assassination attempt, plane crash, and breast cancer defeats coronavirus too. Damn. Damn. I'll never do what this lady has done in her life, and I respect her for that. The water in both tanks is from the same time and place. The tank is on the right, he's oysters. Yeah, it's almost like we shouldn't eat and destroy our natural, you know, biological filters that the world has given us. But no, they're tasty treats, so eat them all. Construction worker Jason Ogilvie rescues a woman from the Desmones River. Wow, I'm sorry if I murdered those names, but hey, that lady got out fine. You do you, buddy. The storm in Wales. That's, uh, that's like a scene light out of the right house. I'd hate to be stuck there. You know, you might go crazy and kill your roommate. Europe in the foreground, Asia in the back. In symbol. Ah, what a beautiful sight. So many different types of buildings. An old TV repurposed into a cat bed. Um, excuse me, I only have a Bond cat, but where can I buy one of these to give him a sweet place to sleep? The Art Deco train from 1936. I wish this was the future we were supposed to have. This is what everything was supposed to look like, all sleek and rounded like this. I miss those days. We're all supposed to be flying blimps and jetpacks right now. Life and death sculpture. Yeah, yeah, that's the kiss of death. I don't like that though. Those 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 realistic bird wings on the skeleton is scary. This is a lunar moth, a species that uses a wasp disguise to assure its survival against predators. Oh, lunar moths, you might te terrify me with, when you're flying at me, but then you become a cute little baby when you get up close. I love moths, they're so cute. Norwegian forest cat, the biggest, hairiest, fluffiest cat ever, and I want one and I want a pet servo before I die because they're just amazing and I love them and look at how majestic he looks. Currently the world's biggest horse. It's a big horse. What can I say? He's pretty. He's beautiful. And I bet he's powerful. Yeah, yeah that's what I call natural light in my dude. Wildlife photograph of the year, 2019. Yes, yes it was. He predicted what's happening now. He's trying to social distance and be nice. Removing RAM from a computer while it's on. Huh. This visually represents a computer screaming as you chop off parts of its brain. Huh. <gasps> and. Toy Story 5 technology secrets got really dark. Ever seen a sunset and a solar eclipse at the same time? Well, now you have. Holy crap, I gotta see this before I die in real life. This is amazing. Also, this chair is beautiful. I wanna own this for the beauty that joy it would bring me to work at this chair. And it looks really comfortable, dude. It also looks like a moth's wings when they have the eye to scare off predators. That's awesome. A 200 year old wisteria tree in Japan. Wisteria? I think that's how it's pronounced. Holy crap. That looks like the tree straight out of Avatar. Not, not the crappy live action movie. I'm talking about the blue people live action movie. Rottweiler with vitiligo. You know, dogs aren't supposed to have eyebrows, but this one just pulls it off. Look at how fancy the pupper is. He's got the pepper and the salt going on. In July 2018, scientists from Russia collected and analyzed 300 prehistoric worms from the permafrost in the Arctic. After being thawed, two of the worms began to move and eat. One is dated at 32,000 years old. The other one is 41,700 years old. So, Jerry, how old are you? Oh, just 32,000. I'm still young. What about you, Bob? I'm 41,000 and I've lived a good life. Andromeda Galaxy seen from Switzerland. My god, it's so beautiful. I don't think it's real, but still, it's so pretty. Look at the little tree side that goes along with it. When you reach 100 years old in Barbados, you get a stamp in your honor. Um, excuse me, what? 
What? I want a stamp in my honor. I'm moving to Barbados the year I turn 100 if I do. This extremely rare blue lobster won every 2 million. Holy crap. It's almost as pretty as the cotton candy one. He's beautiful. Look at the baby boy. Michael Collins, the astronaut who took this photo, is the only human alive or dead that isn't in the frame of this picture, 1969. Oh, that's kind of funny. Good for you, bud. Good for you, Michael Collins. You're, uh... You're better than Neil Armstrong in my eyes. In loan, an artist named Eminem fills the holes in the sidewalks with mosaic. He calls his art flexing, fixing the sidewalks with small colored ceramic tiles. In France, they call it the sidewalk surgeon, who has been healing the wounds of the city's streets since 2016. Can I get one? Of, can I get this guy to come to my crappy road in Pennsylvania? There's a pothole so big it dented my car rim. That's scary. Can you come fix that for me, bud? <laughs> I tried spay praying in the penis over it to get him to fill it, but they didn't even do that. This COVID-19 public awareness ad is distance now. This dance later. Oh, we're finally outside again. <laughs> That's beautiful. An arctic fox in the process of changing from its winter coat to its summer one. Ah, but I'm gonna look so fabulous when I'm beautiful again. Ah, it looks like he saw like a scary thing from like a 1920s movie. This couple planted 2 million tree saplings. It took them 18 years. This place now has 293 plant species, 172 bird species, and 33 animal species. 2001, 2019. Hey man, you've left a lasting impact on the earth. Sure, a corporation could buy the land and mow it down, but you made a difference. You definitely generated some new, you know, oxygen and some new homes for animals. You did good. The shadow of this leaf, which looks like a dragon. Roar, I'm a dragon. You know, if you feel like a dragon on the inside, that's what you are on the outside, Mr. Leaf. Lake Baldenese in Essa, Germany. I probably murdered that name. Damn, why can't I live in Germany? I mean, I lived near the Black Forest for like three months on a student exchange program to learn German. Did not work at all, but I had a good time snowboarding. But still, my trees aren't that pretty during the fall. Mixed wood kayaks. Okay, I've actually seen these in person, not these exact ones. They're freaking awesome, and the way they reflect on the river when it's all smooth, ooh, baby, it makes my day. Christopher Tolkien explains why his father, J.R.R. Tolkien, wrote down The Hobbit in the first place, when it was originally intended to be an oral bedtime story for his children. Found in the foreword to The Hobbit 50th Anniversary Edition 1987, Damn the Boy. Hashtag, have you ever been so annoying you caused the reinvention of an entire literary genre? Yeah, I'm getting there because I'm real annoying. Ecodome, Pantagonia. Huh, that's pretty cool. I want to sleep there. That looks comfy as heck. It's both a biodome and a triangle. It's both, and I freaking love it. This proud aboriginal elder travels 1,864 miles to be at his grand artist graduation. Look at the smiles on both their faces. Heck yeah, dude. I hope every freaking grandpa does this for all their kids. According to Switzerland's law, social animals like guinea pigs must have a buddy with them. Owning one is considered animal abuse and is illegal. Another reason Switzerland is so fantastic. They're neutral, they're great, they make delicious desserts, and on top of that, they don't let poor little guinea pigs be alone. Kid with disability uses it to his advantage as a Mad Max cosplay. I've seen this before, and I'll say it again as I have in the past. You deserve to ride on the Fury Road, my friend. You deserve it. An Australian veterinarian performed a 45-minute surgery on a goldfish named George. His owners were quite attached to him, so they paid to have a tumor removed from his head. Thank you. Fish are people too, my man. Fish are people too. They're not actually people, but hey, they're buddies. We paid a lot of money to have a tumor removed on my pet rat when I was little, and she lived for eight more years. I love that thing. A family photo of owls. Oh, look at the little owls. They're like, who's out there? Who's out there? <laughs> I've been bored during lockdown. It's made from cardboard and hot glue. Yeah, some of us have talent during lockdown or have made a huge body transformation. I um, I haven't cut my hair in over, I think, two years now. And I've been talking on a microphone more than ever. And I've built my booth again and again and again. And it still doesn't look as nice as this house. But, dude, that's freaking sweet. 20 out of 5. That means it's amazing. Nutmeg, the world's oldest cat, celebrating his 31st birthday, 141 in human years. Hmm, still looks like a spry devil. Yeah, sure he's lived a long life, doesn't really like to be petted, will bite you if you look at him wrong. But gosh darn is he one happy kitty. Look at that smile. <laughs> 
Long exposure picture of plane taking off. I didn't need to see this. Or let me say I didn't need to know I needed to see this. I would hang this as a poster on my wall, I swear to God. How I Met Your Mother had a film every scene with Ted's kids in season one because Henry was going through puberty. They shot multiple scenarios for the show's ending nine years later and had to sign non-disclosure agreements saying that they wouldn't spoil anything. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty interesting. I've never seen How I Met Your Mother, but I'm sure I'm sure that's good. This should basically be the law at all ruins. Chris Vick Fortress in Siberia with a window to its glorious past. Dude, why don't we have this? It would be so easy to do and only cost a little bit of money. Why talk tick does not sound right to your ears. That's right, I'm about to read this entire article to you. Ever wondered why we say tick tock and not talk tick? Or ding dong, not dong ding? King Kong, not Kong King? Turns out it is one of the unwritten rules of English that narrative speakers know without knowing. The rule explains a BBC article is if there are three words, then the order has to go I, A, O. If there are two words, then the first is I and the second is either A or O. Mismash, chit chat, dilly dally, shilly shally, tip top, hip hop, flip flop, tick tack, sing song, ding dong, king kong, ping pong. There's another unwritten rule at work in the name Little Red Riding Hood, says the article. Adjectives in English absolutely have to be in this order. Opinion, size, age, shape, color, organ, material, purpose, noun. So can have a lovely little old rectangular green French silver whittling knife, but if you mess with the word order in the slightest, you'll sound like a maniac. That explains why we say little green man, not green little man, but big bad wolf sounds like a gross violation of the opinion. Bad size, big noun, wolf, order. It won't though. If you recall the first rule about the IAO order, that rule seems inviolable. All four of horse feet make exactly the same sound, but we always, always say clip clop, never clop clip. This rule even has a technical name. If you care to know it, the rule of Abilant Republication, yes, pronounce that correctly, but then life is simpler knowing that we know the rule without knowing it. I'm gonna say club clip from now on. Club clip, club clip, talk tick, talk tick, dong ding. <laughs> Check out my dong ding. <laughs> History Hustle. Chad Vara, sorry if I mispronounced that, a priest saw a funeral for a 14 year old girl who sadly ended it all. After having no one to talk to when her first period came, believing it was an STD, he recalled thinking, Little girl, I never knew you, but I promise you that you have changed my life. He vowed to encourage sex education and to help people who were contemplating, you know, that in 1953. Vera founded the world's first that hotline. Sorry, I would say it, but it's a sensitive word for a lot of people. Well, if you made it this far, hopefully you learned something interesting. Damn interesting. I'm not going to say club clip every time I get the chance to. Anyways, I would love it if you checked out all the videos on Easy Peasy, MK, and of course Dealy. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know you like see more down in the comments below. Have a good day, be good people, and remember, stay beautiful, everyone.